Hi, I'm Mike Austin, service manager for the Gorman Rupp Company. This is the second in our series of videos on the operation and troubleshooting of self-priming centrifugal pumps. In our first video, we discussed the subject of priming. In this installment, we will cover the causes of failure to prime. As you know from the previous video, water must recirculate inside the volute casing. During this recirculation process, there is a low pressure created at the eye of this impeller. Because atmospheric pressure outside is higher than the low pressure inside, water is forced up the suction pipe. One cause of failure to prime is an air leak. During the recirculation process, we have left open an air bleed valve allowing atmospheric pressure into the suction line, simulating an air leak. By closing this valve, we now have a suction line capable of pulling a vacuum. Another cause of failure to prime is air binding. During priming, air is handled through the recirculation process and evacuated off the discharge side. Air binding occurs when air is not vented to the atmosphere and collects on the discharge side. The now pressurized discharge line stalls the priming process until the air can be vented. Let's demonstrate this by closing off the discharge valve and closing off the air bleed line on the discharge side. By closing the air bleed line on the suction side, we'll now allow the pump to attempt to prime but fails to do so due to air binding. Noting the pressure on the discharge gauge during the priming process proves that air is being compressed on the discharge side, not allowing air to move up the suction pipe. Some other causes for failure to prime that cannot be demonstrated with the glass face pump include face clearance. The greater clearance between the impeller and the wear plate, the less vacuum created by the pump. This can also be caused by wear. Another cause could be a plugged eye. If you plug up the eye of the impeller with debris, it removes all the hydraulic capability of the impeller. And finally, recirculation. During priming, we recirculate water through the volute casing to create that low pressure at the eye. By plugging up the recirculation port, we fail to recirculate water within the casing and fail to prime. For more information on pump hydraulics, equipment, or application engineering, watch Gorman Rupp's YouTube channel and visit us at grpumps.com.